Hi, welcome to another video. So, there's a new thing called SuperClaude, which aims to add a ton of features over Claude code. And that's why I thought to talk about this because it is kind of cool for sure. Now, SuperClaude is basically a configuration framework that supercharges Claude code with a bunch of specialized commands, cognitive personas, and some really clever development workflows. But the best part is that it's fully open source. SuperClaude basically takes Claude code and just dials it up. It brings in 19 commands, 9 personas, and a whole bunch of stuff for token efficiency, evidence-based development, and some built-in integration with things like Context7, Sequential Thinking, Magic, and Puppeteer. Basically, what it does is give you a much more modular, persona-driven, and honestly, smarter way to interact with Claude code. It basically brings in a ton of changes to the system prompts and multiple new slash commands. Like, there's all these 19 new commands like build, dev setup, test, review, and a bunch more along with MCP-related flags. There's also multiple personas for different kind of things you want to do, like there's one for code review or stuff like that. There are a ton of ways that you can use this. But the best way would be to see it in action and decide for yourself. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Tools. Ninja Tools is an AI platform that combines all the best AI models and experiences at one place. It allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. You get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and a ton of others models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and 5 music generation, while there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them. Also, make sure to use my coupon code AICODEKING20 to get an additional 20% off. Make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Now, back to the video. So, installation is super straightforward. You just clone the repo from GitHub, just a simple git clone, jump into the directory, and then run. Slash install dot sh. By default, it installs everything into your home directory under dot Claude. So you're not cluttering up your project folders, which is kind of cool. There are also a bunch of flags for custom installs, like dear if you want it somewhere else, update for upgrading without losing your tweaks, and even dry run and log for previewing and tracking what's changing. No dependencies works on Linux, macOS, and even WSL, so that's pretty good coverage. Once it's installed, all your config files live in home Claude folder, so everything's nice and tidy. Now, what sets SuperClaude apart immediately is the whole persona system. Instead of just having a generic AI assistant, you can now use flags like persona architect or persona security on literally any command. So, say you're analyzing some code, you can do slash analyze code persona architect, and you'll get a systems thinking perspective. Or, if you're building a front end, just do slash build react persona front end, and it'll give you UX focus suggestions. It's very similar to how some agent frameworks let you pick a domain expert, but here it's built right into the command system, which is pretty awesome. Now, let's look at the commands. There are 19 of them, covering pretty much the whole dev lifecycle. You've got build for project scaffolding, dev setup for spinning up environments, test with coverage, and E2E options, and then a bunch for analysis and quality, like review for code reviews, analyze for system breakdowns, troubleshoot for debugging, and improve for optimization. There's also explain for documentation, which is super handy if you want AI-generated in-depth docs. On the ops side, 
You've got deploy, migrate, scan for security, estimate for project planning, clean up for maintenance, and even Git for checkpointing and managing your workflow. It is very similar to tools like Codex or Jules in how it tries to cover the whole workflow. But what's unique here is the modularity and the fact that you can mix and match personas and flags however you want. One thing I really liked is the whole MCP integration. So, if you install the MCP servers separately, you can use flags like C7 for Context 7, SEQ for sequential reasoning, Magic for AI-generated UI components, and PUP for browser automation. Now, it doesn't include the MCP servers by default, so you'll need to set those up in Claude Code settings, which is a bit of a bummer if you just want everything working out of the box. But I get why they did it. Keeps things lightweight and modular. Still, once you have those set up, you can do some pretty crazy stuff, like multi-step reasoning, context-aware code generation, and even browser-based testing right from the CLI. Another thing that's pretty neat is token efficiency. If you've ever hit token limits with LLMs, you know how frustrating that is. SuperClaude has this include template system, so you can reference config files and templates without repeating yourself. And there's an ultra-compressed mode for when you really need to squeeze things down. Plus, it catches stuff and does context-aware compression, which is honestly something more tools should do. Let me show you a quick workflow. Say you're doing enterprise architecture. You might do design API DDD bounded context persona architect to set up your domain-driven design. Then, estimate detailed worst-case sec for resource planning, scan security validate persona, security for a security review, and finally, Build API TDD coverage persona backend for implementation. It's all command line, but the flags make it feel more like you're talking to a very specialized team of experts. That's something I've really wanted from AI tools, and it's pretty cool to see it here. But now comes the best part, and that is the introspection mode. You can actually run troubleshoot introspect or analyze introspect sec and the framework will analyze its own behavior, look for patterns, and even suggest optimizations to itself. I haven't really seen this in other AI dev tools. It's almost like having a meta debugger for your AI assistant, which is kind of wild. Of course, there are a couple of things I wish were better. For one, the documentation is pretty good. But if you're totally new to Claude Code, there's a bit of a learning curve. Also, because it's so modular, sometimes you have to dig around to figure out which flags and personas make the most sense for your project. And yeah, no built-in MCP servers means there's a bit of setup if you want the full experience. But honestly, those are pretty minor compared to how much you get here. So, to sum up, SuperClaude is like taking Claude code adding a whole bunch of expert personas and workflow commands, and making it way more modular and extensible. If you're doing anything with AI coding, especially with Claude, I think it's worth checking out. I really liked it and have been using it. That's why I thought to share it with you guys as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.